everyone, Miss Art Garden here. And I'm just getting set up. I'm a little bit late because, <laughs> you know, blah, 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 I suck at technology. But I'm here now. So um, I'm just going to get my chat open. I don't know why those little black boxes twitch. It's when I, I don't know, when I switch between programs or something. But um, yeah, I'm going to get ready today. We're going to do a Snow Queen. <laughs> and... Um, Hopefully, I mean, snow princess, snow queen, snow lady, I don't know. I was just thinking a woman in kind of a snowstorm with like, you know, snowy features. <laughs> uh, like maybe white hair, pale skin, rosy, that kind of thing. So I'm um, just going to get set up for that. Let me mute this. I was just checking that I, my thing was on, but I'm worried that... It'll come through my speakers if I don't mute it. Okay, so. Uh, okie dokie. <laughs> I better get sketching. <laughs> um, yes, my 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 desk has all this junk on it and I was going to clear off and I forgot. <laughs> it's too late now. Uh, just Christmas time kind of stuff. Let me put this here. And... I just realized I don't have my chat up. Oh, hi, Nick Pick. <laughs> hi, RR Fine Art. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. So far, it's been pretty nice for me. <laughs> I put some Christmas music on as my music this week. <laughs> Hopefully it won't bother people too much. Some of it's like a mix of the YouTube stuff. And if it's... I, tr I did my little test video on if it turns out uh, to be too loud... <laughs> Um, I turned it down for that test video, but if it turns out to be too loud, people can say, and I will, I will, uh, um, turn it down again. <laughs> My fans are running really heavy. <laughs> I don't know. Hearing something clean, someone clean, is <laughs> good content. Should I do like an AMSR cleaning video? <laughs> uh, maybe it would motivate me to be more, more clean. I get things done when they need to be done, <laughs> which I guess is kind of my way of saying that I am often a very big procrastinator <laughs> when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, like especially, I think I've said it like probably a lot on this live stream, uh, my um, laundry. I'm really bad. Like I'll do laundry. I'm fine with doing laundry and putting it in the machine and stuff and then I get it and I put it in the basket. <laughs> And uh, then I take forever to fold it. <laughs> so by the time I do, sometimes my shirts are wrinkled and I'm like, why do I do this to myself? Oh, thank you. I hope you have a great day too. <laughs> um, I guess I, I never know if I should call you RR or Fine Art or RR Fine Art. <laughs> I'll just kind of change it up, I guess, depending. Um, actually, I want her face to be down a little bit because I'm going to have her be like... Uh, if this was her shoulder and uh, put her like some kind of collar, probably like a snowy collar here, <laughs> something, and it might go up a little bit like that, uh, just to kind of put it in perspective. And maybe I don't like her face so far down. Uh, maybe I'll put it up like this <laughs> so she's kind of looking more at the camera. I always say camera, even though it's a drawing. Oh, there we go. I had, um, I was trying to update my computer. Hello, angry trainer. <laughs> I was trying to upgrade, upgrade my computer. Like, I had, like, a security upgrade thing right before this. That's partly why I'm so late. I'm going to take a quick sip of tea. And it, I don't know, it, like, hang. It said less than a minute remaining for like a half hour and I was like I'm giving up on you <laughs> and then I force quit it and this is why my computer never works with me because it's like why do you do these things to me <laughs> hello Samantha uh, I still never figured out the black boxes that come up and twitch the like <laughs> I never I can't figure it out I've looked at a lot of different forums and a lot of people say I mean, I don't really, I found like one other person saying they had that problem and then no one had a solution for them. So one of these days, maybe, maybe I just need like another uh, screen or whatever, um, alternate, what is that called? I guess screen, like a second screen 
display. <laughs> display monitor, that is the word I was thinking. You were playing Mystic Messenger, but then I saw the notification. <laughs> is Mystic Messenger a game? I don't know if I've heard of it, but it sounds very mystic. <laughs> I might just not type and listen while I go mess with my friends on Discord. <laughs> Kai? Kawaii? <laughs> uh, I always wonder like, if people don't look at the chat, they're like, what are you responding to? <laughs> I try to read it out um, sometimes, but I'm not the best at it. Yeah, so let's get her face kind of placed in here. It's going to be kind of the same. <laughs> samey angle that I usually do. It's just almost straight on, but not quite. Um, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I, I don't feel like being too challenged today, I guess. <laughs> but I want to just make like a nice little wintry, Christmassy theme. So we'll do that, get that going. I should ask for another monitor for Christmas, <laughs> but I'm kind of at that age where <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to buy me anything that expensive. So... Maybe I'll just have to, uh, I'll get like a, a, a program, I mean, a, um, I don't know what that's called, like a, I don't know, I'm going to stop, <laughs> stop on that line of thought because, uh, I can't think of what I was going to say. <laughs> okay, so her eyes are there, her mouth might be like here, I actually think I'm going to move her nose up a bit, and then we'll change the, the shape of her face, so we'll bring it in at the corners of the eyes, out, and give her a nice fleshed <laughs> uh, facial shape and I bring her chin up a little bit because right now it's, she looks a little bit like uh, has anyone seen the Iron Giant? <laughs> She's got like Hogarth's chin. <laughs> uh, maybe that's just me. I, I feel like the Iron Giant's still a thing. Didn't they just make uh, Ready Player One and the only modern day <laughs> pop culture reference they put in was the Iron Giant? Maybe. <laughs> uh, I, th I thought I saw something like that in the previews, but for all I know it was like a uh, Pacific Rim monster or robot or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yes, it's a game. And I text hot anime boys. <laughs> oh, hello, BDT. Well, that that's the best kind of game. Do they, do they text you back? <laughs> Is it like specific boys or is it just like in-game characters? Like is it people from actual animes? Why is this twitching? If I put OBS in the front, it stops twitching in the little display. But then I, as soon as I go to Photoshop, I don't know. This drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. <laughs> there it goes. It's twitching again. Maybe there's a way I could look up to always keep OBS in the front. I feel like there's some kind of setting on computers that does that. <laughs> but maybe not. Um... I'm going to take another drink. Samantha says, <clears throat> sorry, I got a lot of art supplies for a gift exchange, like a canvas and my favorite part, drum roll, kneaded eraser. <laughs> IDK, I like them. I liked those too when I did, especially um, charcoal stuff. I think the kneaded erasers were the kneaded, uh, kneaded? <laughs> the kneaded erasers were the best part. Get out of here, message center too. <laughs> I'm getting pop up. That's that Nikon program that I got for. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I have like the worst stories. All I heard was hot anime boys. <laughs> oh, buys. Buys boys. Yep. Okay, so she is looking very baby faced right now. <laughs> I should keep working on this. Um, let's get her. I would finish up her features. Probably a good idea to get her eyes a little more shaped like they will be. So they'll kind of go down like this maybe and and meet up here. And the little top part usually goes over the bottom. So <laughs> we'll get that. Um, and I'll probably bring this in a bit like that. And then we'll do the same over here. I'm going to move this one over a bit. Bring it in and down. And maybe those are a little too close together. I'm kind of, I get distracted <laughs> when I'm drawing these. And at least she's got one squinty eye and one up eye. is a disaster. <laughs> I'll fix you. Don't worry about it, lady. <laughs> uh, okay. So. Yes. Let's do this over like that. And 
Just kind of match up those eyes, <laughs> give her some eyebrows. Uh, just kind of sketch them in like that. And like this. Um, oh, uh, 707 and he's a character in game, my personal favorite. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to check it out, just so I'll, at least I'll have the cultural reference. <laughs> um, there is snow on Rocky Mountain. Yeah, there's there's definitely snow on the mountains around me. There's still a little bit of snow on the ground, but it's like old snow. <laughs> like never melted snow. <laughs> so a little bit. Mostly just kind of gray, mushy ice <laughs> where I live. But up in the mountains it's snow, and I think uh, when I checked the weather this morning it said chance of snow but it's like 10 percent so small <laughs> small chance of snow okay i was gonna have her smiling but maybe an ice queen would have kind of an icy personality is that being too literal <laughs> uh, i'll uh i'll draw her in without a smile to start with and then we can change that later if we want um i'm just looking at the shape i think it's a little bit like like too droopy one way so i'm gonna move it like this, and I think that looks better already. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about the face angle. <laughs> I do this a lot, but I think what I want to do is maybe bring it in a little bit. I, I mean, I do the like tilt it down a lot. <laughs> so, um, okay, that, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. And give her some eyes to look upon with. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> uh, there we go. Something like that. And are her eyes too far up? Perhaps. Let's move it all down a little bit. Let's just grab all this uh, minus a little bit of that and move it down. I think that looks a little bit better. And let's sketch in her hair. Uh, I don't know. I was going to give her a part. But, uh, we could do we could do something like this. Just kind of get it placed in. I was hoping maybe to get some hair like in the wind going just like you know, like little strands blowing around out here um, and then like I said this is gonna be white let's let's blow this or zoom it out I guess <laughs> there we go did anyone see the new Avengers trailer <laughs> I watched that yesterday is that when it came out or two days ago I watched it when it came out and then I was joking with my sister on <laughs> messenger with that about how uh, different things that'll happen in the movie. <laughs> and then I think, um, let's see, like this. Yeah, this will probably be good. I don't know if I'm going to put like a crown or something. I might do, I don't know what these are called, this kind of thing, where you have like a little jewel there. <laughs> uh, I could put it a little bit cleaner like this. Um, there's a movie called Never Ending Story, which <laughs> might be a bit old for some people but yeah she has there's like a what is her name there's a character in there and she's like the queen of the land or the princess of the land or something and she wears one of those <laughs> um why the red brick lines the the red lines for the sketching uh i don't know i just kind of picked a random color um, I usually go with like red or blue for some reason and I think it's like a tie over from when you like sketch things sometimes um, you, you'd use like blue or red ink before you uh, put the darker ink on <laughs> maybe <laughs> I don't know just what I went with um, okay so that looks okay I still I think that I was gonna say I still think the head of it uh, the angle head is a little bit weird but I actually think it's it looks good like this now so let's uh, I guess that's about it I'm gonna put I'm gonna move her up to fill this the uh, space a little better so she's not just kind of like you know tucked away in the corner down here <laughs> and looking silly so um, probably just almost cutting off her head and I might adjust that later. <laughs> uh, it's the similar effect of blood pencil. Is, is blood pencil a thing? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, red chalk. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. That, I guess that's... Sometimes I do green, but it's mostly red or blue. I don't know. 
think I just picked it. Maybe I was thinking of the holiday spirit. <laughs> Red and white are typically very holiday spirit colors. Um, does that look better? There's something a little bit off, but I think I'm gonna go with this for now, and then I'll probably spot it as I'm drawing, like what where the uh, the anatomy mistake is. <laughs> I don't know. Something just feels off. I guess I could flip it, and take a look. Uh, maybe her her chin is going down a little too far on this side, and I can see her mouth a little bit crooked. It's funny how when you flip things, you can see all these <laughs> little things. I mean, the mouth isn't too important, but we w probably want to get it a little bit more like that. And then we can flip it again. This eye maybe needs to go down just a little touch. <laughs> and then, um, like that. And those line up a little better, I think. Maybe this one needs to go up, in fact, just a little touch. And, yeah, I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think, uh, red, red chalk and blue chalk, is that what you use when you're kind of laying it out before you want to commit to putting the permanent lines on? <laughs> um, okay, let's pick a background color and I'll probably pick kind of a gray, blue, you know, kind of an outside snow look. Uh, is that too dark? Maybe a little bit more saturated like this. I think that works a little better and then I'm actually going to make it a gradient so I'll pick an even brighter one here and then just give it a little bit <laughs> a little bit of a light source there okay um, so yeah now I can pick some colors um, also did you think about joining the Pokemon server because <laughs> it's epic I, I really don't know uh, enough about Pokemon I feel so out of place but I'll give it some thought. <laughs> um, I'll have to think about it. I'll let you know. <laughs> Nick Pick was talking to me on Discord and he says he's part of like a Pokemon server that I should join. I told him I actually used to watch um, Digimon. <laughs> that was my show. And when I was younger, 7th grade, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and I watched the like really cheesy like edited one um, from like fox kids <laughs> that was uh and it was like uh, I, I watched it with my friend i would go over to her house and we'd watch it and there was like this character i think called agamon i wish i knew them remember the names now and it would be like agamon did you evolve too and then be like rah, rah, rah. <laughs> and he'd go through like such a voice drop it's like he had gone through puberty it was kind of funny <laughs> Uh, those were the days. And we'd watch X-Men too. Oh, um, draw a Vox Phantom Mark V guitar. <laughs> I think I still have, I found my suggestion list from forever ago and I think I still have that written down from you earlier. So <laughs> hopefully I'll get to it. I kind of forgot about those suggestions. I got kind of really busy and over overwhelmed <laughs> with on online stuff. Um, I wanted her to look really pale. I think I'm going to go with this color even though, uh, in the end it might be maybe it's um i'm gonna change it a little bit make it a little bit lighter yeah i think that looks good oh the red chalk is my favorite tool for drawing it is the most used tool in drawing during the italian renaissance by the greatest painters of all time uh yeah i think i'm trying to think of who my favorite italian problem is, is I know names and I don't know like country origins um yeah I can't think well who was the Italian sculptor I thought he was my favorite sculptor in school uh he did like I just cannot think of his name he did like um really realistic sculpting <laughs> I'll have to look him up afterwards he was really cool as far as like painters go, I'm like afraid to name one because <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know where they're from. Uh, I think that's a little too light. I won't have anywhere to go with that. So let's start a little bit darker, even a little bit darker. Like I said, I'm going to have her hair be kind of white, but because I don't want to start out super white, I'm going to start with this kind of, <laughs> I think that matches to the background a little too close. So let's make it a little bit of a darker, more like this. How about that? 
We'll start with that. That looks a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more distinguishable. Um, trying to think of the name of that. I don't know. I don't remember his name. <laughs> I'm thinking of an M name, and I think it's a dictator, so I'm not gonna say that one. <laughs> but yeah, I think. <laughs> Uh, my fa uh, I liked Rembrandt. I know he's not Italian. I think he was Dutch. But see, I don't even know what his origin was. I think um, out of all the like what they called masters, I think Rembrandt was probably my favorite. Um, yeah, I can't think of his name. Well, if I think about it, <laughs> if I think of it, I'll say it. But. I always liked uh, the the Rococo stuff. <laughs> I know that's not quite Renaissance, but it's funny if anyone hasn't seen it. The Rococo stuff is when they give them like really frilly collars and stuff. <laughs> that's always kind of fun. Uh, oh, Andre de Sarto or Andrea? Maybe. <laughs> I thought it was a guy, but maybe Andrea is an Italian male name. I just think, <laughs> is that an androgynous name? Because I think the only Andrea I've known are girls, but I could be wrong. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get this down here. I'm going to give her a fur, fur collar, but I'm actually going to make it uh, like probably brownish. Let's see, I brought, let me, I have a preview window <laughs> open here. It's a tutorial by, oh, does it say the name? Corb. Bravem art. <laughs> it's like a little fur tutorial I got how to draw fur up here. So I'm gonna put this down here and take a look at it while I'm drawing. I guess I can copy, let me cancel this. Copy this. Uh, this is what I'm gonna use to try to do her collar. Uh, yeah, this little fur tutorial I found looked kind of interesting. So specifically, um, I'm looking at trying to copy this style here. <laughs> I just wanted to give credit, so, um, uh, I hate Chrissy Canvas art. <laughs> I never know how much to say of your name. Guess Chrissy is what I should go with. How are you doing? Uh, okay, so, we were just talking about our favorite, like, Renaissance painters and stuff, and I was trying to remember the name of, uh, an Italian marble sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was gonna go with a brown color, kind of tannish brown for like the fur collar. Maybe a little bit reddish tannish brown, I don't know. These are all, I'm a little bit worried these are all <laughs> starting out looking pretty similar, so maybe I'm gonna have to make some choices on maybe like a darker brown would be better for this fur. I'm just gonna kind of loosely place it in. Let's turn my hardness up a bit. <laughs> I'm good. Be right back, Nicolou. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Andrea in Italy is a name more of a male. But there are also some women who are called Andrea. Very rare. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Well, I'll have to look up Andre uh, del Sorto. I don't know how I'm <laughs> butchering that. Is there one called Bernini? Maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. That might be it. Uh, maybe he's not even Italian. <laughs> All this and it turns out he's from like, I don't know, Spain or something. I hope not. <laughs> I think Bernini is the one. I feel confident now, but not confident enough to like bet on it. Um, yeah, I took like a little a sculpture class. It was one of those like summer classes that's six weeks long and uh, we were given limestone <laughs> and I had to carve something. I'd still have it. I just ended up, um, I think... The teacher didn't really like, like what I did, but what I ended up doing was they, it looked like a shell when I got the stone, so I just kind of made it look more like a, sh a seashell. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's about all I know about sculpting, sculpting in real life. Um, I I think this will probably end up going over here. Sorry, you left. You're getting ready for your sister's party. Oh boy, a party. <laughs> Is it like a holiday party or a birthday party or just why not have a party party? <laughs> we need more of those. Just random parties for the fun of it. Parties. Okay, so yeah, that's about it for her base colors. I guess I should pick something for her. 
uh, coat. Let's make it a blue. I think this will be good. <laughs> Maybe it'll look weird with the blue, but uh, we'll go with it and I'll change it later if I don't like it. So we'll just get that in there and then we'll start adding shadows to get this more, more developed. There we go. I'm gonna take a quick drink. I've got to, to move in my squeaky chair. I still haven't fixed the chair. I still haven't fixed, <laughs> fixed anything. <laughs> uh, it's all still the same kind of cruddy production <laughs> quality. One of these days I'll fix it, as I say, probably for the hundredth time. One of these days. <laughs> uh, let's get this color for a shadow and maybe like a redder one here for this one. Maybe not. Went the wrong way. I know you guys can't see when I pick colors. Um, that is probably a little bit too uh, not red enough. <laughs> let's turn my opacity down and make it maybe um, a little more orange. Yeah, I think that'll work. Uh, actually, no, <laughs> I changed my mind. I'm gonna pick a different color. Uh, it's a going away party for her going to the Navy. And holy Jesus, I missed a lot. It looks good. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Well, I hope she has fun in the Navy. That's awesome. My dad was in the Navy. He was kind of in the Navy during the <laughs> Vietnam War time. <laughs> so, um, he wasn't in it for very long. They... Um, hello Friday, you suck. <laughs> How are you? Are you having a good afternoon, hopefully? I think he was, uh, my dad was in the Navy, um, like at, towards the end of the Vietnam War, like just for the last couple of years, and then they did something where the war ended and they had more soldiers and they knew what to do with, so they just, um, I don't know what it's called, like, you know, retire them with honors or whatever. Yep. <laughs> so I hope your sister has fun in the Navy. I guess I <laughs> kind of made that about like a weird story time with my dad. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't know how much of her ear is showing. I probably will have most of it covered uh, with the um, hair. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, let's see this. And put it like that. There we go. And just keep, uh, I'm doing good. I'm having kind of a, kind of a one of those technology days. <laughs> I feel that's every time I live stream. <laughs> um, it's pretty good. Two nights ago I got woken up by my smoke detector saying like low battery and had a weird dream about that. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's just what came to mind. <laughs> um, okay, so... Yeah, I think this will be good. Let me take away the sketch and make sure that's kind of coming in. I think that's still, there's still something kind of funny about her face, but I'm just going to go with it. She can just have kind of a, kind of a silly looking face. Okay, so let's start defining where I want these shadows to be. Since this is outside, uh, we'll just have the kind of one light source, I think. This is typically my, <laughs> my style. This is the one light source. I think it creates more dynamic shadows when you um, use like a one single light source. And yeah, I know when you go outside and you get like photographed, you actually like get blinded by someone holding stuff in your face. But it, for the most part, the shadows are pretty uniform. Um, so let's see. A little tiny nostril there. And then this one over here. And... Uh, we'll put a little bit of a dip there. Let's put the seam of her mouth in here. It's almost time probably to get rid of this sketch or at least make it uh, um, less uh, opaque, <laughs> less in my way. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of loosely highlight those eyes. And uh, let's make a hair layer while we're at it so we can get some eyebrows in for her. Uh, we'll, we'll make this a little bit darker and just kind of sketch in where we've placed these a little bit loosely there, like that and like that. Let's take away the sketch. Okay, I think it's starting to come together. I don't actually want to take it away though. I want to make the opacity of it about 30%. 
and then keep going. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. While we're on the topic of hair, I guess I could put some of this shading in. So there'll be, you know, mostly shadows down here at the roots. Uh, <laughs> and a little over here. One thing I always, or I never do, <laughs> is when I'm drawing roots, and I was looking at some other people doing a speed drawing, I realized I never do this, is they, they put like a little bit of like <laughs> the skin color up in the part so it doesn't just suddenly part. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to try to remember to do today. Hopefully, hopefully I'll remember to do it. So yeah, we'll get these kind of going out. I do want her hair to be sort of wavy. Let's go on the hair layer. So I <laughs> didn't realize that it doesn't matter, but um, so that like I'll go out and I'll put these kind of wavy spots like curls and stuff like that <laughs> just kind of going out and since I said it was going to be kind of in the wind I might do some like like blowing in the wind like this <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I'll think about it something like that uh, would be cute I think um, I'm gonna want some shadows mostly behind the head is where you see shadows so like in this area I'll have to make them darker in the future but for now look at these in there without hopefully going over her skin too much and I'm just thinking about all I need <laughs> maybe put some over here uh, let's put this color over here and get that going like that and then do the, the curls over here too so eventually I'll put curls I guess this is the hair layer so I'll put maybe a few here to remind myself that I want uh, just like a few strands maybe coming over like that and maybe some over this side <laughs> yeah I think that's probably good um, let me check something real quick hold on a second Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you heard those weird noises. I tried to mute the mic. I was just clearing my throat. Okay. So, uh, let's keep working on, I want to get this collar in too. I like to kind of put things in at the same time, like shading wise and stuff. I know there's people that have the style to, um, I already lost my little, my little tutorial thing. I there it is. Uh, the style to, uh, um, <laughs> sorry, um, do like one, one section at a time and then like really detail it all in and then move on to the next section. I've never been very good at that. So I just kind of make a mess everywhere and then try to clean it up. <laughs> and yes, that I, I need like the cough button. <laughs> uh, I need like the embarrassing mic noise filters. <laughs> so like when I'm like, <laughs> they're like, oh, we'll cut that out. I'm sure like the very um, big streamers have that stuff. <laughs> I was watching Nerd City's video on like all the um, like airbrush filters that people put on their skin when they're filming and stuff to make them look all flawless and stuff. I think that's a little bit funny. <laughs> um, I should stop saying um. <laughs> it's one of those things that just comes out and you're like, stop saying it. Um, you know? <laughs> oh well. I'm gonna get some shadows in here too and then we'll call it good. So I want like kind of a seam of her shoulder to be there. And then we'll put some shadows under here where her coat is. I always figure it's okay to get your brush if your brush uh, goes in with the uh, the other layer colors. <laughs> I'm natural rough and ready. <laughs> That's partly why I never do a face cam. I'm gonna do, I'll just do, I'll label this back for now. I never do face cams because I'm very lazy. <laughs> I don't do like fancy makeup or anything. I'm just kind of like, eh, you get what you get. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't really have a camera anyways for doing a face reveal or anything. I could borrow one, but <laughs> I figure why not. I'll just stay mysterious. I'll, I'll keep my my image away from <laughs> the public judgments. <laughs> uh, I just want to get some of these spots. Let me get the sketch layer out. Make sure 
But yeah, I don't really see. Sometimes I miss like behind the area spots. <laughs> so I'm gonna rename that color. There we go. You get past caring much when you hit 50. <laughs> Uh, see, that's, that's part of, I'm not like super vain about my appearance. <laughs> that's probably, I'm too lazy. <laughs> too lazy to do like the whole hair and makeup routine every day. I don't know how there's people who like, you know, they take their shower and then they blow dry their hair and then they style it and everything. And I'm just like, I'm just going to comb it. <laughs> It'll be what it is. Uh, I don't even own mousse. I'm, I'm a terrible lazy <laughs> My hair is naturally curly as it is, so if I put it up, um, like when it's almost dry, I put it up in a bun and then take it out later, it kind of keeps that natural wave. So I tend to go with that. <laughs> and that's my way of styling it. I mean, obviously if I have some kind of big event, I won't be so lazy. <laughs> uh, she doesn't do face cam because she doesn't have a face. <laughs> that's it. I'm actually a robot. I'm just a voice. I'm, I'm Siri. I think if I was Siri, I'd be <laughs> better at technology, though. <laughs> uh, I need an AI buddy. When are we going to get those AI self-driving cars? Maybe one of them can help me set up my live streaming. <laughs> uh, I don't think I would trust a self-driving car. Is that, like, weird? <laughs> I'd be really nervous about it. But, eh, maybe it'd be okay. Maybe I... My problem is, is that... <laughs> I've seen what happens when technology goes wrong. <laughs> I've definitely been on that side of it, so I wouldn't want to be on it when you're going down the highway and all of a sudden it needs like a security update or something. <laughs> uh, okay, so maybe I'll have her hair go over her ear like that in this kind of style, and then it'll, this part will be kind of curled in. But yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> And then I want this area back here to be kind of darker, so I'll fill that in. And yeah, let's see. I make this a little bit darker on the eyes. <laughs> Blow this up. I guess that was a weird glitch. <laughs> uh, you should draw yourself. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing something like instead of a face face reveal, I'll do like a self portrait. I don't know. It might be kind of a fun project. I feel like if I if if I did that, I'd probably just work off a photo <laughs> and not like a mirror because I've done self portraits where you have to use a mirror. Like in school, we had to do that, <laughs> and it is so much harder than just a photo you can copy. <laughs> I mean, I've never been great at like copying from references. It's kind of one of the things I've been actually pretty bad at. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm too whimsical. I don't want to like stick to a certain way of doing things. But uh, drawing from a mirror, everything changes, the light keeps changing, and you keep getting like, you know, all those little weird shadows that you want to uh, replicate, keep changing, and then I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> a little tangent there, but yep, I think if I did it, I would definitely do it from a uh, photo. <laughs> so maybe I'll have to like go out and do like some silly glam shots and then try to do a self-portrait from them. Uh, okay, let's get some lips in here for her. Um, just some kind of color loosely painted. And this is more of that like mix of illustrator than um, realistic style. I don't know what's wrong with her eye. Something's wrong with her eye. Let me take a look here. Yeah, I think this one is down a little bit. Let's get rid of the sketch and see. Yeah, I think it could. Am I on the hair layer? Yep. <laughs> That's okay. I'll select it and move it down. So select, I'll accept minus the eyebrows. I don't want to select those because they're part of the hair layer. Then I'll feather maybe 10. <laughs> Command X and Command V. Oops, not that. Command Shift V and there we go. Now it's like it never happened. I did a mere portrait once. It looked distorted. <laughs> I looked like a hobbit. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. See, I always kind of like when my art goes wrong if it goes like funny wrong. <laughs> like if it just goes wrong and it's just kind of like sad wrong, you're like, oh. <laughs> but if it's funny wrong, you can kind of live with it. 
actually I don't want to do that. I want to create a duplicate layer and then create a clipping mask and then move it so you won't see those weird I won't have to do any patch up jobs. It's my lazy way of editing. Okay, so that matches up her eye a little better there. I've messed with her eyes several times. I need to get some uh, proper shading in here for her eyes. So this one might be <laughs> you stuck it in the bed. <laughs> I, I can understand that. That's the one. I mean, that's not the one, but that's a benefit of digital art is you can delete it. And there's just no trace of it. <laughs> Although with um, traditional stuff, if it's on a canvas, you can paint over it. And just kind of... <laughs> pretend it's gone. Although I don't know, I've I've painted over acrylic where you paint the whole thing like white again. I've never painted over oils. I don't know how well that works. If it like shows through, I'd assume at some point, especially if you have like a lot of textures, it start looking wrong. <laughs> Hello, crazy boy. And the uh, Sally art. Is it Sally or Sally? I don't know. I hope I'm not mispronouncing it. Maybe it's Siley. <laughs> I really should get like a um, a technique <laughs> um, technique book on how to pronounce things. Surely teachers have to have these because there there's so many teachers that <laughs> have to read kids' names all day that are are different than they're used to. Or I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's fix this because her chin I don't think goes up high enough. Get that a little bit closer to the ear there. <laughs> and um, this whole area, let's pick a new color because I think when you shade in the same color after a while it looks all, all kind of weird samey. <laughs> so that's probably good but I don't want it quite so uh, pigmenty. There we go. Give her some rosiness here. I'm actually going to turn that down blend it in there and put some over here in this shadowy area. And put some up here. Like I think when you do um, the last one is correct. Was it? What did I say last? Siley? Siley? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I'm butchering it. <laughs> you can you can correct me as much as you want in the comments. I know when you do uh, traditional, you kind of have your paints and you just mix them around and they sort of change naturally. But with uh, digital art, it's always the same. The opacity seems a little too high. It's always the same color no, ma no matter what. It, it's very true to that color unless you switch it up. So <laughs> I try to make an effort to do that. Let's get her uh, some more pale colors too to work on where the highlights are going to be. So uh, join the late. Have I been going? I don't think I've been going too long. Oh, I guess for <laughs> 42 minutes. Oh, you, you like my art? Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. I've been... Uh, having fun just doing her little kind of snow lady <laughs> here. Didn't really have too much of a plan for this one. I was just gonna, you know, kind of do the the wintry theme. <laughs> the Christmassy holiday theme. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll get some... I want her to look kind of like, um, I don't know, there's like a makeup style, but I can't think of the name now, where they have like all these highlights in certain areas, like under their eyebrows and stuff. Her eyebrows will need to be moved up. I'll do that in a minute. Um, and then we'll get uh, like a, a highlight on her nose. There's always kind of a highlight. Let's see, I've already forgotten where my <laughs> light source is over here. So we'll do little highlights on this side of the face. That'll be a shadow down there. And then we'll get a little highlight on the chin. And yes, <laughs> I guess that's going good. Um, If I ever get like more of a grip on my social media stuff, I keep thinking I'll I'll um, put like more like requests up for live streams, especially like people can vote on what I do in the next live stream. Some of that is I I, I never really know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so she's got to have icy blue eyes. I think that's just kind of a staple, a must. So let's get some eyes painted in, even if let's see. I think it's better if they either look directly away from the camera or directly towards the camera. That's just kind of my own weird thing, I guess. <laughs> Let's just get some pigment in here now to represent her eyes. Uh, her eyes still look a little uneven to me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'll just I'll just keep uh, working on it. Maybe it'll reveal itself in the end. 
And I don't know why my computer fans are going so loud. I'm always worried because when I record like a, like videos on my computer, like just normal record, I have the mic swung out uh, and more towards my face. But when I'm live streaming, since I move around so much and, and um, <laughs> I put it more, I swing it back so I won't be hitting it. I'm already hitting the, <laughs> the, the wire every time I take a drink here, but um, yeah, it's probably pointed right towards the, uh, the fans that are going, <laughs> I'll have to see if it makes noise when I watch this back. Okay, so let's get her eyes in here, and uh, I'm not going to detail them out too much until I get a little bit worried I'm going to have to move them around. So let's get some pupils, and then we'll leave them here for now. Let's see, is that matched up? Uh, I guess that's matched. Let's flip it. <laughs> yeah, this there's like something here where the lines of the eye doesn't seem to match, but some of that might be this little guy over here needs to go down. <laughs> this little guy being a line <laughs> uh, needs to go down a little bit. And I've turned my opacity down earlier because it was annoying me, but <laughs> now I want it up more. I'm so, so inconsistent. There we go. Um, take this, I'm going to steal this darker color from the nose and go like that. I think that's a little better shape for the eye. And then we'll go ahead and switch this. Yeah, I think that's working okay. Um, let's work on the eyebrows. <laughs> I think I might just re draw them for all that I tried to save them earlier. <laughs> okay, so let's do them. Um, I don't know. I want them kind of shapely. I don't know if uh, either thin or thick eyebrows, I guess, are a thing. You can't have like moderate sized eyebrows for the fashionists out there. Is fashionist the word? Probably not. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we'll just kind of get these moderate ones in here. Maybe I'll make them either really thick or thinner later. Uh, and then I guess her lips. I've kind of been abandoning them. Let's pick kind of a... I kind of want them to look sort of like bluish almost. Maybe like that. <laughs> um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and reshape these just a bit. So the top lip underneath usually has a darker shadow than the rest of the area although I could put um, like a little bit like this to make it look like her mouth is just fairly kind of open-ish there uh, and where am I from uh, well from the United States but specifically I live in Colorado which is the Rocky Mountain area of it <laughs> I guess uh, right on the Rocky Mountains, I should say. So, kind of southwest U.S. <laughs> I live pretty close to New Mexico, in that area. Okay, and then let's see. Yeah, I kind of want her... I don't know if this is the color I'll go with, but let's get it going. Like that, underneath. And... Kind of work on the shape of this, because I think I kind of went with two different kind of styles there. Um, I wonder if it should be moved up. Let's take a look at the shape flipped. I'm doing a lot of flipping this time. I'm doing, I'm just really I'm working on the hair layer again. Why am I so bad? I remember to switch layers. It's okay. Feather 10 X and then uh, command V and then I'll merge that down. There we go. Um, and then create a new layer and then we're back to the same mask. Okay, so no, I think her lips are okay. Her her face seems kind of uncommitted over <laughs> here. It needs some some more shading, probably, especially like here and up here. Um, just kind of work on that a little bit here and put that there like that, and maybe just even darker. And then underneath her mouth here and under her nose over here and then a little bit more here. Kind of commit to these darker shadows. <laughs> um, let's see here. Let's flip it back over. I think her nostril <laughs> needs to be drawn in. Just look a little strange without a, having that nostril there. So we'll just kind of sketch in a little line there and give her that. And then we'll work on the shading of this a bit. 
that's more consistent. So she might have a little bit here. I think I'm going to go with a pinkish color. I've got a lot of reddish colors here. So let's see if I can get some pink work done, especially in this nose area. And uh, maybe like a little bit there. And then we want shadows here. We'll add the pinkish there. Let's give her a little pinkish on her cheeks over here. Like she's got a little bit of, of rosy cheeks here. Maybe one over here too to match. Uh, it's a little, little heavy, but I'll probably blend that in a bit. And then we'll get some down at the chin area here. And maybe the mouth. I'll, I'll give it. <laughs> I was going to go for kind of a purple look, but I think I'll go with red there like that. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Lignata. How are you? <laughs> just taking a quick sip <laughs> okay so um, I want to bring this in I think I'm going to bear with me I'm going to go into the liquify oh, I just realized I lost my little OBS window I don't even know how bad the twitching is today <laughs> it's still going I can see it <laughs> I'm going to go into liquify just Lena uh, Lena I don't know if it's like a, the long E or the short E. <laughs> I think I wrote down Lee Nada, like L-E-E. -E, but if I'm saying it wrong, you can correct me after all these years. <laughs> poor, poor uh, ability to say names. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to bring her chin up a bit, actually. And kind of work it a little bit like this, maybe. Let's see if I can fix these eyes while I'm here. I know you guys can't see the change. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about, like, I never did the full screen with OBS because it'll just show all this stuff and I couldn't get cropping to work for me. Yeah, I think that's a little better. So I'm thinking about, um, <laughs> you got spooked, witches are scary. <laughs> uh, yep, they certainly are. That's why you gotta stay on their good side. <laughs> are you making tea too? <laughs> Sorry, just reading that. I can see, let's see, put a little bit down here. I want to get a little bit, I wanted to keep this kind of soft and glowy and like, you know, um, wintry light. So I want to give it a little bit of a cold feel, which is why I keep going back to this like purplish. But we'll see. <laughs> uh, let's get these here, maybe under the hair. I want this um, shading over here be a little darker and you just kind of keep building on that we'll bring this down her her yeah <laughs> I think I might make her hair a little bit darker here too so let's work on that I'm gonna go back up to the hair layer and then I'm gonna remember when I'm done with the hair layer let's go back down and let's see is this uh let me take a look something real quick is this let's make a little bit okay I'm just checking to make sure that this little halo area I'm seeing by the hair isn't actually from um, a gap in the pigment placement, which I don't think it is. I think it's just a little bit lighter down here. So I'll work on it here first, kind of darken this, and then I'll go back up and fix that. So we'll make this little chin area a little crisper too <laughs> while we're at it. Um, and then go up to the hair layer and get some, some darker area here get that placed in like that there we go maybe bring her che cheek in with this hair layer here a little bit <laughs> it looks a little really dark on one side i'll blend this out and make sure it matches up so, <laughs> so it's not just like super dark all of a sudden so here we'll just kind of gradient it out so it's not just a random dark line there we go that looks better and let's um, oops, didn't mean to hit that. <laughs> Go down, bring this up. Um, oh, what is your name? My name is, my my actual name is Desiree. <laughs> but uh, if you mean like, what do you call me? A lot of people short it to Miss Art. <laughs> but you can call me Desiree too. <laughs> like so much the tones of the skin so warm. She is the Snow Queen. It makes me feel so like calming feeling. <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of more of a painterly quality. Hopefully I can get these <laughs> get the the overall look to stay. But thank you so much. I'm happy that it's working. 
Uh, let's see how much of this. Let's make this area darker uh, under her nose. Uh, her nose. <laughs> By her ear, we'll make it a little darker where it kind of goes in like that. Um, and then we can blend that out of here a bit. And we'll have a couple little areas here where it's going to be going under more. Maybe like there's a bend here. I've kind of drawn a few strands out. I'll add that in here. And then back here by the fur collar. <laughs> uh, nice name, cute voice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> At least it's uh, going down here too. Um, I think that's pretty good the, for the color. I don't know if I need to go much darker than that. Um, I do her hair right now is sticking in the background. Uh, eventually I'll probably go in with just pure white, especially at the top areas here and kind of really blend that in so it looks a little bit more like distinguished. I mean, in the background I'm going to change a little bit, but I think I was going to have like a strand going out like that <laughs> or something. I put a few strands out like that. Um, let's make a little bit like that and that and I might go in later and blend those in. But yeah, that's my plan eventually is to have the, the white there and the dark so it'll look. She's got gray hair. But uh, I think right now her hair and her skin tone are clashing a little bit so I might have to add some more, maybe like a, some more royal blues in with the hair. Might give it a little bit more of a saturation. <laughs> Hello Giggles, how are you? I don't know how blue though. Let's not make it quite that blue. Let's make it a little bit like this blue. Might be good and good for a mid-tone. Give it a little bit more personality to have some colors in there. And I might look, she looks like she has brushed her hair on the back there. I'll have to fix that. I might go with a few yellows, as strange as that sounds, but I think it might look good. Let's take a look. If I put a few like really nice yellowy colors to kind of give a little warmth to the hair. So it's not so... I mean, I know she's the Snow Queen, but I don't want her hair to look too bizarre. <laughs> uh, you're doing good. That's good. I'm doing good. We're all <laughs> doing good, I think. Um, yes. Let's see. I think that's good. I'm going to take this and now just kind of make this the darker side of the hair. I need a little bit more like that so the light will come more towards the top. I think that's good. Okay, let's go back to her collar <laughs> since I'm trying to kind of keep this going too. Um, let's add a little bit of yellow in this as well for highlights. And uh, it's going to be dark there, except for maybe down right at the bottom here. And then here we're going to have a few like this. <laughs> Just kind of messily place them in, and then she might be catching some light at the back of the collar over here. In this kind of light arc right like that. <laughs> that makes sense in my head. <laughs> Just try to replicate it, and then I'll uh, put a few here and there. Kind of work those in. I think that looks about enough of that. Um, you think I should try vlogs also? I need some kind of camera. <laughs> Maybe I could do those kind of vlogs where you like hide your face <laughs> and like uh, sit in the shadows or something. So <laughs> I don't know. It's not that I, I, I feel conflicted about sharing my my like real identity on the internet too much. I don't know what it is. I had some like weird stuff go down a while back on Facebook uh, with someone I knew from high school and I think it's kind of made me appreciate having a little bit more privacy. <laughs> uh, not having people be able to so easily seek you out. So maybe that's it's left over from that. Okay so uh, let's work on her eyes next. She looks a little, a little bit strange without these developed eyes. So let's get those in. Um, do, uh, Desi remember Sarah Jones. She was making drawing vlogs with her turtle. Um, 
I don't know. It doesn't. Sorry, I'm taking a drink. It doesn't uh, ring a bell. Drawing vlogs with her. Yeah, drawing vlogs with her turtle. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I have. I'll have to look into her if I haven't seen her. Does she not? Uh, is she not active anymore? Wish I had a turtle. <laughs> Well, there were a bunch of lizards this uh, summer. I called them all Alex because I didn't know what their gender was. I would just see, I mean they're all different lizards, but I'd just see them and be like, hey Alex. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's get this shaped a little bit more like I It will go down like this and come up and then this one um, will come over like that and then this will come out like that. Kind of get this shape over here probably bring this up a little bit and then yeah, maybe out a little bit like that. And this I don't really like that it's pointed so I'll give it a little bit of a round look. I think that's looking good. <laughs> um, suddenly her channel disappeared. Oh hi Citronella? <laughs> Is that how you say that? I like the candle? I don't even know. <laughs> maybe I'm just saying it because I'm thinking of the candles. <laughs> Um, no, uh, Lena, I don't think I ever, I don't remember her. Her channel disappeared as in it was deleted or it was deactivated or like on YouTube's end or was it her end, I wonder. Um, okay, so let's get this, uh, oops, I'm getting a little warning message, hold on. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> YouTube lies sometimes and says that my feed cut out, but I just checked it. It looks okay to me, so I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's on their end. I don't know <laughs> if it if it starts like jumping or buffering. You guys can let me know. Although I don't know if I can do anything about that. Um, so let's get a little bit there and uh, yeah, I think I was working on on shaping this. So we have a little bit of a shadow in there, and then this area will be a highlighted area, so we'll get that kind of more placed in like that. And the same over here. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna place some shadows here a little bit. Actually, let's make my brush all the way soft. So we place these in. They're really soft and blended already. I don't have to do much work with them. There we go. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Citronella. Uh, and thank you. <laughs> uh, was it Siley? <laughs> I really feel bad when I can't say these names right. I hope that you guys can just yell at me. <laughs> um, it's like this in real life. I'll hear people say their name, we'll introduce, and um, I'll like think, okay, remember that name, and I'll, I'll come with like a little mnemonic, like. If they're wearing a red Jess dress and their name is Jess, I'll be like, red dress Jess. Remember red dress Jess. But then sometimes people say their names and I'll be like, I don't remember what they said. <laughs> or how to pronounce it or any of that. I'm just terrible with it. Okay, that looks good. And let's get the shadow uh, crease of her eye. I just realized I never put that in. That'll help her eyes look less creepy and doll-like. She has a little bit of skin wrinkle there from the eyelid. So I'll just put it in like that and then this one will go right in. I put the highlight sort of over here but I forgot the crease. <laughs> I don't know if she should have a crease all the way over. I guess she can. <laughs> You're saying it correctly? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll forget and mispronounce it in the future and then you can get mad. <laughs> um, okay so let's get the highlight then. Work that line so it looks real thin and blend it in. Do the same over here. And then we're actually going to have, uh, let's make it a little redder here. Have it go like this above. So it's like that's where <laughs> the major shadow is. I'm just kind of winging this. <laughs> but I think it's looking okay so far. She'll need some highlights that come right up to here. I think my brush is too soft. I think I've moved it up to make the. Um, uh, <laughs> the shadows of the eyes, I never fixed it. 
that's not coming out hard enough. Let's get these a little, little bit harder edges, make it look a little, a little more detailed. Like if you go too soft, it looks like someone went crazy with the blur effect. Uh, wow, so great. Never saw you doing this on the eyes, but it's amazing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> have I done something new? I kind of am all over the place <laughs> when I work on my stuff. Um, so I think a little bit of a highlight there, but I, no, I don't know. <laughs> this is what happens when I make it up and I don't use a reference. <laughs> I go like, yeah, that looks right, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, and then like over here we have this. Let's blend this out a little more because right now it's kind of streaked in. Yeah, there's kind of like this look, this makeup look where you put like the... Um, highlights under the eyes and by the eyebrows. It's, a, it's called something, probably. <laughs> but that's kind of what I'm going for. I don't think her eyebrows are right. I think I redrew them and didn't even redraw them right. So let me select this eyebrow. I don't want that hair. And move it up. I think it should be up like that. Maybe even a little bit more. <laughs> Is that like right? So and then we can come in and fix this area. I do want this highlighted under the eyebrow. But the actual eyebrow itself, the skin under it, has to be shadowed like the eyebrow is casting a shadow on it. And um, let's see, this area looks like it could come in a little bit with the shadows. So let's do that real quick. And over here a little bit too, perhaps. <laughs> and then we'll draw the shadow over here a bit and then we'll just kind of blend this all in so it doesn't look quite so... Um, like hard lined there. That just kind of gives it the illusion that this is bent in in this area, but it's not actually like, I mean it is bent in. Your nose is kind of reaching its curve there. Let's see, I don't actually want to connect that. I want this to go all the way up here I think. I'm just thinking how I want these uh, to be. Okay, I'm getting distracted <laughs> with the skin around her eyes, but I want to finish these two. So let's get these uh, Mark Dan, so let's do two pupils. I think we got the placement okay. I'm gonna go to overlay and pick a darker blue. Uh, let's try this color. Oh, not dark enough. <laughs> Even darker than that. Uh, yeah, this will work. And then around the pupil area where the like, have you ever seen an eye up close? They look really scary. There's like all these um, like branches going into the pupil area. I don't know how to explain it better than that. It's not their technical term. Yeah, but we'll just kind of add some some things around here and then around the uh, outline that I've done. I'll put some color there. And let's, while we have overlay, put a little bit more uh, like, I guess like imperfections. I don't know, like well, little lines going out of the pupil. <laughs> they look a little scary right now. She looks a bit like she has goat eyes. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's see, here we go like that, and then over here, we'll darken that one up, and then we can go to normal, actually let's go to color dodge, and get a bit of a highlight streaked, <laughs> not that, that extreme, let's turn our opacity down, highlight streaked over here and over here, and I think I might go to normal after that turn my hardness up just a bit and add in a few um, like highlights right over the pupil area. So there's that one there and then something like that and we'll do the same over here. It's kind of a streak of light and then something over here and then I'm going to turn my opacity way up, turn my brush size down and kind of get that highlight really in there. Like that and like that. Like that and like that. Let's zoom out and take a look at her eyes. Uh, she might have a little bit too much um, like whites of her eyes. <laughs> so let's tone that down a bit. We'll take the overlay. Uh, where's the overlay option? There we go. And that, oops, no. <laughs> I gotta turn my opacity down. The corner of the eye here, I'm just gonna add a little bit in the corners of the eyes there. And then I'm gonna go to normal. Turn my opacity way down and work a little bit of black right where I just kind of marked that with a soft brush. <laughs> um, so she has a little bit more shadow in the corner there and a little bit under there. There we go. 
and then uh, perhaps just a little bit of white here at the the um, like <laughs> where it'd be kind of wet under her eyeball. Let me turn my opacity back up. I think it's a little too small. And then a little bit of white over here too. I think that helps bring the eyelids out, which I still haven't done. <laughs> there we go. Um, a little bit of red too in the very corners. Kind of give that, that like tear duct <laughs> look. There we go. A little bit of that and a little bit of that. Okay. And then since I put those in, we'll honor that with a little bit of a highlight with the white for where the tear ducts actually would be. So just maybe just a little little glow of white there. A little glow of white there. It'll look better once you zoom out. <laughs> that tends to be the... <laughs> I don't know why I like snorted there. <laughs> uh, anyways, it tends to be kind of the, the rule of digital painting. The further away you get, the better it looks. <laughs> So you get to the thumbnails and you're like, yeah, that looks great. <laughs> I don't need to see all those really messed up details about it. Okay, so let's give her some eyelashes too. So um, I guess she'll have a few going out like that. And then some sweeping out the corner of her eyes like that. And then we'll do the same over here. Sweeping out. Even though I haven't really finished the shading over here, that's okay. Give her some of these. Uh, you know, I should maybe put some, like eyeliner, or not eyeliner, uh, eyeshadow makeup on her. That might look kind of nice. And then for down here, I'm going to not make this a straight line when putting the kind of bottom makeup on. I think it looks better if you kind of break it up. <laughs> looks a little more natural. And then we can zoom out and give her a few uh, oops, uh, bottom lashes for eyes. And the magic happens again. Love watching you make the eyes because you literally do magic. <laughs> I'm glad you like them. Eyes are, are really fun to draw. I think they're the funnest. Although I change up my styles a lot. <laughs> okay, so we zoom out. Her eyes will be developed, but <laughs> the rest of her won't. <laughs> okay, let's work on her. Um, now that I've done this, let me look at this. It's just still this eye that looks <laughs> a little bit weird. I'm going to try just tweaking it a little bit with the liquify tool before I continue and then I'll do the the um, mouth. In fact, I'm actually, while I have this liquify tool open, I'm going to bring in this chin area because I think it's going out a little bit weird. A little, little bit of touch up there. Uh, let's bring her nose <laughs> a little bit here. And then, okay, now the eye. Because <laughs> right now it's looking like one eye is drooping and the other one isn't. So if I open this, this one up over here, you guys can't see. <laughs> what I'm talking about, but I think that helps. Let's take a look. Okay, so that was before, that's after. Yeah, I think that looks a little better. I'll give it another flip. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that looks good. I'm going to, oops, I keep hitting Command R instead of Command T. I'm going to move this eye out just a little bit and then I'll stop messing with this eye. <laughs> A feather 10, and I'm just gonna move it out just a touch. There, I think that looks better. Yeah, I think that I think I do like that better. Um, okay, so let's work on getting these shadows developed a little bit more, and then I, I will do the lips. I know I just said I was gonna do them and then left off. <laughs> uh, I'm so so all over the place. That's okay. Actually, her. I know, I guess with the collar, well, we could add a little bit of highlight, just a little tiny one down here. Or she might be getting a little bit of highlight from the light source we haven't really added yet. And bring that up, and then her her ear would be like that to there. Kind of work this in. And give her hair a little bit more down here. Like it's coming in maybe at a curl. <laughs> Just so it doesn't like suddenly end there. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> and then I want to give her a little bit of an ear hair. Her hair is messing this up on this layer, so let's turn my hardness of my eraser up and just kind of erase it so it comes through a little bit better. And so there'll be a little bit of a shadow here between her jaw and the ear. 
And let's kind of work this shadow in. It's kind of a hard line right now. We don't want that. We want this to go in a little bit like that. Maybe this actually would come back in this area a little darker. Um, like that. I don't know. <laughs> Playing around with it. And let's erase a little bit of this hair on this layer. <laughs> you like the eye color RR fine art? <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I'm just trying to think. The, I really need to start bringing up references. I think the bottom of her lip will have a little bit of a shadow. Like this. And maybe. <laughs> I mean, over here is usually shadow. And then over here, I think her nose isn't like well over here the shadow should be a little bit more perhaps get that worked in a little bit like that and that'll kind of help bring the dimension <laughs> that I'm hoping for and um, I think by right now it looks a little silly because this probably should have more of a shadow in this area in general over here <laughs> um, yeah I don't know <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it <laughs> I'm not like super sure what I've done to her poor chin. I'll come back in like a day or two and look at it and be like, I know what I did. <laughs> that tends to be how it works. Okay, so let's get her nose a little more developed here. Give her that nostril there and this nostril area here. Um, give her just a tiny visible nostril on this side up here. Maybe move this up a little bit. We can see that tiny bit of the nostril there and then work on getting a little highlight over there. This highlight might have been too far over so I might just kind of work it in a little bit back further <laughs> and get it on this side of the nose too. And yeah I think like that. Kind of bring it in so her, no <laughs> her nose looks okay and then um, down here there'd be a oops. I need to merge this before I continue, otherwise I'm going to get weird lines. Oops, down here there'll be a little bit of a um, shadowed area. Is there something on the hair layer? Is that what's going on here? I think so. Let's erase that. <laughs> there we go. And then a um, little bit down here. And then maybe her her cheek could go down a little bit there and there. I think that looks good. And then I've lost all detailing. <laughs> uh, I lost all detailing on her um, her lips there, but that's okay. You gotta bring this nose, keep tweaking it a little bit there, like that. Um, a little bit of shadowy there. And then just like a little tiny bit of highlight, if I can get it <laughs> precisely there. I don't know. I think I'm messing it up now. I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, so the lips here might go like this and like this and let's get the bottom part shaded in and just kind of work it around here give her kind of this dark area I think this bottom one needs to come out a little bit further than it has and work that in like that and this over like this <laughs> and then uh, she has no highlight over here. She's kind of lost that. So let's give that to her. Help her look a little more 3D. And let's give her a highlight right where the ridge of that lip would be. And then there's kind of a dark area there. And then there's another highlight right here. A little bit with one. And there'd be a little bit of highlight at the top of her lips everywhere. So let's get those in. I think I'm going to need to go through work on giving her some more highlights because she's kind of lost a lot of them. <laughs> the more you blend, the more you kind of lose your your values if you're not careful like I did. Uh, okay, so we'll get a little bit of highlights going on the top of her lips there like that. And while we're at it, let's give a little bit of a highlight to some of these places. So right here she might have more of a highlight. Over here, I'm going to bring this highlight in. Over here maybe a little bit and then down here and then at the, her chin and a little bit at her nose. It gives a little bit more more highlights. 
Okay, so let's take a look. Yep, I think that's looking good. We'll finish off her, her mouth and then we'll work on her hair some more. So uh, we could give her some like spots where her lips might be kind of dry and a little bit here <laughs> maybe up here. Um, it's gonna give her this sort of look where her lip is, is a, in kind of a triangular shadow but you can still see the bottom with a highlight and shadow tag team. <laughs> I guess. And then um, yeah there we go. And then we'll do the major highlights over here and over here. And yeah I think that looks okay. I might go in with just a few like little tiny tiny broken up like wrinkle areas of the the mouth like that and uh yeah and then just a tiny highlight under where the seam of her mouth is to kind of bring that out a little bit maybe a little bit more over her lips let's see how does that look <laughs> she looks okay i think she looks a little like she's puckering her mouth might look a little silly. Let's bring her lips out just a bit and maybe that'll help clear up some of that. So let's feather by 10 and then <laughs> bring her mouth out a little bit. That'll even that puckering look up a bit. Okay on the bottom of her nose I want to work in some of these shadows so we can kind of see that goes here and then there's a little tiny highlight on this end that will go down under it like that and maybe a little highlight under her nostril here and maybe uh, pronounce this nostril over here a little better and then kind of get that highlighted look here and move this shadow in here where her nose would be going in just a bit so like that <laughs> um, hey power surge how are you not only okay gorgeous <laughs> okay so let's keep going on her actually I'm gonna take uh, <laughs> try to decide I'm gonna take this highlight and bring it all the way up because right now I think she looks a little strange and then kind of work this shadow in because I want there to be a hard line there but like it's not quite matching up. Maybe uh, let's do something a little bit crazy. <laughs> Move uh, her lips and her nose over just a touch because it's a, it might be out of line with her eyes. And I was kind of moving her eyes a lot, around a lot earlier so that might be why. If I move this over a little bit I think that'll look better. Perhaps even up a little bit. <laughs> So that was before, that's after. I think that's better. Let's take a look at it flipped. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Are you having a good weekend so far, Power Surge? I guess it's not technically the weekend yet. <laughs> but uh, hopefully it's getting there. Okay, so let's uh, go to the hair layer now and work on these a little bit more get these a little more detailed in. And then, uh, yeah, something like that. And we'll get a few highlights over here while we're at it. Since we kind of made this the darker side, we lost some of our highlighting prowess. So <laughs> want to get that in. Maybe a few down here. Uh, I realized I should do like one like that. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, something like that, and then one over like this. Uh, just kind of going with what I've already placed for my shadows and highlights, so. Um, just kind of highlighting if, where I have highlights and shadowing where I've put shadows to kind of get it all a little more detailed looking. <laughs> I don't know if that was explained very well, but I was at home all day. Weekend's been good, just working on some applications and art. Oh, that's good. I hope you're enjoying your art. I know you have a new video up. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to. I was going to try to look at them all this morning. I'm so behind again. I had my YouTube 
I don't know if anyone uses Gmail, but <laughs> I have the worst luck. My notifications, forever they weren't showing up at all. And I was just having to go into like the subscription part of like the channel and go through them there. And then they started showing up again um, in like the social section. And then they started going into my main box, which is okay, except I get thousands of them a day. So I wasn't able to keep up with the other messages. But now they seem to be working again. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So that's always kind of fun when you're having problems <laughs> mixing that up. Okay, so there we... Oh, that's looking a little bit better. Uh, it obviously looks best from far away. Let's get these um, ones that I put out for demonstrations to have some softer looking hair strands behind it. Maybe one up here. Uh, okay, it's gonna go... Let's see, I don't want it to like bend over that one, so I gotta kind of work it more like this, maybe. I think that looks cute. And then we can have a few that go like that. And then I'm going to take my brush and make it really small and kind of uh, work a few like strands. <laughs> I'm making these too matchy and they look a little weird. A few little tiny strands and that always kind of helps um, with the detailing, I think. If you just take it, put a few, few strands. I used to be a little more detailed. <laughs> uh, but one of these days I'm going to go through some of these and touch them up. I think it looks okay though. It doesn't have to be totally finished. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and try to fix some... Uh, oh, I guess I should do her collar a little bit too. because <laughs> That's been getting no love. <laughs> um, because of the protests here. Oh, uh, in France, let's see. Oh, the, um, there was a fuel tax passed, and then the yellow vests, or yellow jackets or something. I do read the news. <laughs> I didn't know those were still ongoing, because they haven't really been covered much. I hope you're safe then. I heard they were going to, like, um, I don't know what you call them, well-off neighborhoods and, like, trashing the places and stuff. Hopefully that's not happening, not affecting you. Let me, let me merge this real quick so I can get some fine details here. I won't be bound to the thing. Yeah, that's that's quite scary when you have those kind of protests. I'll, I'll keep you <laughs> in my thoughts and hope that you're doing well. Um, where I live, it's so, such a small town, there's not really protests. Although there was a shootout on the highway that was about it. <laughs> uh, I used to live in a bigger city where there was more, more of that kind of stuff. Yikes. Uh, scary, scary. Okay, so I don't know how much detailing I'm gonna go and I got this tutorial out. I was gonna make this look really nice. But then I get to like this point where everything starts looking kind of like if I detail it too much it won't match. So <laughs> I worry about a bit about that. So I'm gonna go in with these darker ones and get some details in here at least maybe down here as well. Um, yeah. I don't know if Power Surge is still here, but I, was gonna, <laughs> I meant to ask what kind of applications are they for, like school applications or work applications or or what. I guess I'll live, live in mystery. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's looking a little more detailed. And we'll get some... Uh, there we go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna start working on a background here in a minute so she's not just gonna be like hovering here. But I just want to get a little bit more. I'm like, I'm not gonna detail it anymore. And then I'm like, I'm gonna detail it now. <laughs> uh, get some more of these a little bit more like that. I'm really bad with fur in general. So I thought that would be kind of the fun part in detailing this a little more. Work applications, yeah, <laughs> those are not fun. <laughs> All those school ones aren't either. But hopefully you get some awesome. You can get an awesome job, and then you can <laughs> I don't know, and then you can have an awesome job. <laughs> I don't know how to finish that. I I always hated doing the cover letters part. I mean, I still still hate doing the cover letters part. <laughs> I'm always like. You have to convince them why they should hire you over everyone else without being arrogant. 
<laughs> I was like, I, I don't know, just hire me, please. <laughs> uh, that's the trick, isn't it? So you have to be like, I am vital to your company, please just hire me. <laughs> but, um, oh, I missed some from Lenata here. Um, yes, absolutely, but only cars and bus stops are affected, damaged. I guess that makes sense that they're going after that because of the fuel tax. Um, but hopefully, I don't know if you have a car or not, hopefully it's safe. <laughs> and the, the buses, that's a bummer. Because that comes out of the, <laughs> the the city taxpayer's pocket, although I know they're they're mad. I guess, uh, what's the, is it Macron? I might be saying that. <laughs> I might be getting that wrong, but I think that's his name. He was like away at a business conference, as far as I know, when this all started. Is it Macron? Macron, it's something with an M, but I can't remember now. <laughs> they were at the G20 summit? I don't know. <laughs> I read the news and then I don't remember any of it. <laughs> oh, hello, Annalisa. Um, not really applications, but a course for food handler's permit. Oh, okay. So you're looking to be like a chef or something? I always wish I could. I mean, I know how to cook, but I <laughs> wish I could cook like like pro cooking. <laughs> um, I'm really bad at cooking meats because I almost never eat meat. So that, that's kind of the one thing I would like to know. I eat meat but I only eat like humanely raised stuff <laughs> which is expensive so I can't always afford it so I mostly just eat my chicken eggs. <laughs> I think it would be good. I guess maybe I'd want to do like pastry chef stuff. That's I wish I could make pastries that'd be so good. <laughs> But then I would get like fat, so maybe not. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that, but I would definitely get fat if I knew how to eat more pastry. I mean, cook more pastries. Oh well. I can make pies. I guess that's kind of a pastry. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now that I've worked on all this, her face tone is looking a little bit samey. Let's see if I can. Uh, go in and get some highlights. Maybe like here, over here, over here. <laughs> Just gonna blast her with some more highlights, especially on this side. Is that, did I take too much away when I did that? <laughs> Let me see. Before, after, I think it looks okay. Um, I still think her nose is in the wrong spot, except I just realized I was doing that on the hair layer. Uh, when will I learn not to do that on the hair layer? <laughs> Uh, you're in the process of applying to a bunch of jobs right now, and I hate it so much, yeah. Um, uh, your car's at the garage, that's good. Hello, Denise. <laughs> How are you? Yes, applying for jobs is definitely one of those things that's no fun. And it's really depressing, too, when you don't even get, like, something back if you don't get the job. <laughs> like, that you just live in limbo, and you're like, maybe tomorrow they'll say something, and you're like, they're never gonna say anything. <laughs> Uh, I think, I don't know, Something, something's weird about her face. This is the, the game I've been playing. I can't figure it out. <laughs> Let's go into Liquify and just play around with it a bit and see if I can figure out what ha needs to happen. I think her nose might need to come down just a bit. Uh, I don't, I don't know, I still think her chin might go out. A little too far. So maybe I'll fix those things. Um, let's try it now. See if I like it better this way. <laughs> Does that look weird? That was before and after. I do think her nose needs to come out. I might have moved it a little too much. Uh, <laughs> I'll sit here and work between these. I think that looks a little better. I'm going to go with it. And then I might move her eyes down a bit. Hi, that old lady. <laughs> um, did I miss something? I don't know what <laughs> that's in reference to, sorry. Okay, let's uh, select this feather and move her eyes down a little bit like that. Is that too much? Maybe? I don't know. I start messing with it too much and then she starts looking strange. Let me see. I think it should stay like that. Let's flip it over. See what I need to do. Um, maybe I did, uh, move her nose down too much. Let's, let's go back <laughs> and mess with it a little bit more. Um, we are 
disturbing the painting. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm just messing around with it trying to figure out. It's one of those things like if you ever critique someone else's work, you, you can see what's wrong with it right away and you're like, oh, they should have done this. But when it comes to your own work, it's so hard to see what you've done. And then you'll come back to it like a week later and you'll be like, ah, oh, I get it now. <laughs> Everything I did wrong there. Okay, I'm a little bit worried that this eye looks a little derpy, so I'm going to actually bring it in and then reshape it. <laughs> uh, I think that actually looks better. So that was before and after. I think that's a little better. <laughs> I'm not going to mess with it too much because then you get into that trap where you mess with it so much that it gets unrecognizable. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so let's work on a little bit of a background. Uh, I want a snow... Oops, I don't want to open anything. Thank you. <laughs> snow layer in the back and a snow layer in the front. So uh, let's get a brush going. Uh, oh, it took a year before someone actually hired me. <laughs> oh, oh no. So are you like an apprentice? You're looking for like an apprenticeship kind of thing? You should come make food for me. <laughs> uh, that's going to be what everyone says once you're a chef. <laughs> That's going to be so annoying. Okay, I'm going to make these a little bit not round. I know I just did a tutorial where I made them round. I guess you guys cannot see this because OBS captures weird. <laughs> okay, I'm messing with my brush settings. If people are like, what's happened? What happened? <laughs> Why is she not doing anything? Um, okay, scattering. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, that looks good, I think. Okay, so we have this back snow layer. Uh, except I don't want them to be that big. Let's make my brush a little smaller and get some snow going here. And then let me see if I can work on her hair a bit here with the levels because right now it's kind of uh, needs to be a little brighter I think. It sticks out a bit more. I think that looks good. I'm gonna have to work on our eyebrows because they're just kind of floating there. Uh, working at Little Caesars. Oh, I see. I didn't even know Little Caesars was still around. <laughs> well, next time I see one, I'll like salute it in your honor or something. I don't know. I never know what to say. I like Little Caesars. <laughs> Uh, I went to there in high school with my friends after school sometimes. Okay, so I'm making this a little bit brighter. Let's get these snowflakes falling around. And let's see here, I'm going to go to this too. Work on the levels here too. Get these a little bit brighter. So that was before, that's after. I don't want to lose my shadows though. So I just keep that in like that. Okay, let's take a look now. Before and after. Yes, but uh, I also think I want to... What is the one where you can mess with the saturation? Here we go. Command U. I'll turn down the saturation a little bit. Give her that kind of Snow Queen look. <laughs> a little bit more. There we go. Well, I hope you have a lot of fun at Little Caesars. I, I think I'm I'm worried that I'm remembering the wrong restaurant, but I hope it's the one I'm thinking of. Okay, so... Uh, huh. Let's see here. What else? Uh, maybe I could add some like branches in front of her. I'm going to try something if I squish her in a bit. That might help with her weird like wide proportions. <laughs> I would do it. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go up to the hair. I mean, no, we want um, shadows from the hair. Let me get those in. Let's make some darker shadows around here too. I don't think I have really committed. I'm going to change my brush here. I don't think I have really committed to these <laughs> darker shadows. So let's go through and get a bunch of those in, especially where her hair is because her hair is looking a little, a little silly. Or it's not dark enough in that area. And then we'll go over here. A little bit down here, and definitely under here and back here, and then a little bit over here where the nose is, and 
around maybe a little bit here, <laughs> a little bit here. Uh, yeah, I want some there, but not maybe not that dark. Yeah, the pizza place. Well, hopefully it's nice. The best part, or the worst part about work is usually your co-workers. Like, the work is something, but if you have, like, really good co-workers, it makes it like, yeah, and I, <laughs> I don't care, I'm, I'm gonna have fun, or if you have, like, really terrible ones. <laughs> so I will hope for you to get some really good ones. And then you can have fun. <laughs> Are you going to keep pursuing things with art? Because I think you have a really a great style. You should do stuff on the side at least. <laughs> I think it would be good. And then we'll bring that in a little bit. Um, and then bring this. Let's go overlay and add some color to this. I think I'm getting down to about... I don't know. I get to the point where I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Okay, so let's give her some pink over here, some pink here, a little bit down here. And then uh, we'll go to a much darker red and work on giving her some in the nose there. Uh, maybe a little bit at the corner of her eyes. And a little bit at the c up here. <laughs> Just kind of making it up. Uh, maybe not down there, like that. And, uh, let's go to multiply, pick this up and work a little bit more of this into a gradient shadow over on this side. She does, <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to get her, her skin tone to match. Her hair is a little bit different from her skin tone. Let's go to normal. I was like, I I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Now I'm like, <laughs> fix it. <laughs> Uh, see, we do that, and then I think a little bit down here, like this. <laughs> uh, I'll keep art going. I've been through. Uh, I've been trying to streamline the art I make so that I could make them quickly and nicely. Um, what program do you use? Because I definitely, <laughs> I went through that process of figuring that out. Okay, so I've lost some of the details on her eyes. So I'm going to go back in real quick and <laughs> fix them <laughs> before I finish this off. So I want these shadows to be a little bit more noticeable. And the nose is all like sort of <laughs> gone into the way of glamour shots levels. So we'll fix this real quick. Um... And then Clip Studio Paint. I've never heard of that one. Um, the thing I would say, look at what takes you the longest when you're doing your art. Like some, for some people it's the um, line art part, or some people it's the coloring, and some people it's whatever. And then just kind of really push for ways that you can make it faster and easier on yourself. When I had to do a lot of illustrative stuff, um, I definitely um, learned like in Photoshop how to do uh, actions to color it faster and when I did the lines I would do the pen tool and stuff. <laughs> and those things, anything that you, even if it just saves you like 30 seconds of drawing when you start drawing them more and more it really adds, adds up so <laughs> I would say it's it's worth it to kind of figure that out. Let's get a few little things here. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so hopefully you can figure out ways to main, uh, streamline. For me, the longest thing that takes is usually coloring, I think. Uh, I don't know. The, yeah. <laughs> I don't really like my coloring style as part of the issue, so like I do the, the pen tool coloring that I, that I have and it looks okay, but I'm always like, eh, it's kind of kind of like sterilized and stuff. I think when I'm doing illustrations, I wish that I had more more painterly stuff to it, but I never put in the effort, so it's my own fault. Um, okay, so there she's got a little few more details here. Let's get some like texture working in here next. 
Uh, not, not black. <laughs> I want the white colors. Thank you. There, like that. And this never was very uh, shaped right. <laughs> Okay, I'm just kind of finishing up little touches here and there, and uh, let's give her some uh, highlights to the cheeks here. Let me just work in some texture over here on this side of her face <laughs> so it doesn't look so uh, blended glamour shots. And there we go. And... I don't know how much, how much white I should add. I think I should keep it a little bit in shadow there. And then we'll go to overlay. <laughs> oh, right now it's line art that takes a while to do, but then again, I don't have a working tablet pen. So I use vectors every digital piece I make. <laughs> That's what I do. Um, I sketch and then I don't bother like doing the line art with the <laughs> with the thing. I'm just not very good with tablets. Uh, so, I don't know. The, the more you work with those vectors, I don't know what kind of vector program the Clip Art Stu or Clip Studio Paint has, but uh, hopefully <laughs> hopefully it's it's uh, it, you'll get used to it and you'll be a little faster at it in the future. I know how frustrating that can be. Okay, let's, I guess I didn't realize her forehead too, should have some kind of like shadow, I'm on overlay, that's why, I was like, why isn't that working? Some kind of shadow that goes across here, so you can see a little bit of that skull mark, <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think something like that, there we go. Then we'll just do one more overlay with a blue color. And I'm gonna push those highlights in. Get one, one eye a little bit brighter than the other. I think will help. Okay, and then let's see. I think I was gonna put some branches or something. We could. Nah, nah I'm not gonna do that today. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do instead is just do my little overlay trick where I use the gradient tool and add a little bit of extra color <laughs> so I can pretend like it was planned all along to have it be a little more colorful. Let me change this setting to overlay so it fits in a little bit more like that. So a nice blue glow there, maybe kind of a purplish glow from the back over here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, her eyes are definitely a little messed up, but <laughs> I might have to just go in and fix them. Um, and then maybe a green might look good from the bottom coming up. Oh, that didn't turn out right. <laughs> and let's maybe not make it such a saturated green. Maybe something more like this. Okay. And let me just go in now and do the little final touches here. So let's get her brush. Uh, I mean her brush. My brush. <laughs> my brush. And then just kind of, um, I want to kind of darken the area around her eyes. So right now I don't think they stick out enough. The the shadows around her eyes. And that'll help. And then I guess I lost this shadow a bit. Let's work that in a tiny bit there. And then her lip color, I've kind of lost that. So let's get that worked in a little bit darker. And just the bottom of her nose a little bit here. Very bottom. Like that. I think that looks good. Okay. Uh, well, maybe while I'm here, I think I said I was going to try to put a little bit of eye makeup on her. Let's see what she would look like with a little bit of blue eyeshadow. <laughs> um, just something just barely up there. You could see maybe a little bit under here, too. I always put a little, when I put eyeshadow on, I put a little under my lids. Okay, I think that looks good. And then I don't think I ever got those rosy colors in either. So let's put a few on her cheeks over here and over here. A little bit on her nose. There, I think that looks good. 
there's, there's still some issues, but I think that's pretty good. Oh, uh, I can just watch her all day long, even the day here's almost gone. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I think I'm actually going to start wrapping it up. Um, I might come back in the future. Sometimes there's, I kind of made her look maybe a little too much makeup at the end there. <laughs> I'll take some back actually. But, um, yeah, so like maybe that level and then we can redo the lips. I think I'm going to start wrapping it up. I'll probably come back to this in the future. <laughs> Uh, and try to fix up. There's something a little bit off about it. Maybe I can fix her hair a little bit while I'm here. Um, let's see. We'll go overlay and we'll take the white and we'll just get these strands over here. Just really bright white <laughs> around the back area here too. And yeah, I think that looks okay. So, but I think I'll wrap it up for now. Um, I'll come back and tweak it later. Sometimes you need to like go away for a while and then come back and be like, I see what's wrong with it. I think I've said that like six times already. <laughs> the thing is, what I'm seeing here is the lips look normal, and then from here the eyes look normal, but there's like something that doesn't match up about them. <laughs> I can't figure it out. But uh, yeah, so I guess I'll I'll end it here. I hope everyone had fun and uh, enjoy your day. And uh, Power Surge, I hope you get the job you're looking for. And Lenata, hopefully you stay or Lena. I guess <laughs> I hope that's what, what you said to call you. Uh, hopefully you stay safe and away from all those those uh, scary protesters. <laughs> and uh, thanks everyone for stopping by. Uh, I'll see you next week. I'm gonna be working on. I have like a little tiny mini uh, Christmas comic. I know I'm always making comics, <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna probably be working on that. I think it's gonna be two or three pages. So if I get enough work done and during the week, I'll be able to hopefully just kind of finish it off in that live stream. So I'll see you next week or I'll see you around and I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care and I will see you around. I almost did my outro. <laughs> uh, see you around. So have a good day. Bye bye. <laughs>